Hey, I'm Alicia Malone, and I appreciate you keeping me company here on TCM today. Next up, it's a dark comedy based on a Neil Simon play, which he also adapted for the screenplay. Starring Jack Lemmon and Anne Bancroft, it's The Prisoner of Second Avenue, released in 1975. Lemmon and Bancroft play a husband and wife, Mel and Edna, who live amongst the chaos of New York City and struggle when Mel loses his job. On stage, those roles have been played by Peter Falk and Lee Grant, directed by Mike Nichols. Melvin Frank was chosen to direct this film version, and he was excited to work with Jack Lemmon, saying he'd been trying to do a film with him for years because, quote, I think Jack is one of the two great actors I've seen develop in my years in the business. The other is Marlon Brando. And it's true that Jack Lemmon was a remarkable actor, more so than I think he gets credit for. I always love to watch him on screen because he just adds so much to the dialogue. It's, it's in the small moments, his gestures, expressions and stutters. And in my mind, few actors could play nice guy who is pushed and pushed until he finally explodes, quite like Jack Lemmon. You'll definitely see that here, also with Gene Sachs and Sylvester Stallone a year before his breakout in Rocky. This is The Prisoner of Second Avenue. The Prisoner of Second Avenue was the third time Jack Lemmon had worked with writer Neil Simon after The Odd Couple from 1968 and The Out of Towners from 1970. So he knew how to approach this material, but this was new ground for Anne Bancroft, though her performance earned her strong reviews for the extra emotional depth she was able to add to her exhausted character. The film itself received a lukewarm response from critics and audiences, though many liked seeing Anne Bancroft paired with Jack Lemmon. This was the first and only time they worked together in a movie, and Bancroft said she found Lemon to be an extremely warm and generous actor, nice to a point where he's crazy. I'll see you later tonight for TCM Imports, but next on TCM, it's time for more films featuring our star of this month, Paul Robeson. And after this quick break, we'll get to hear him sing Old Man River in a musical adaptation of an Edna Ferber novel.